All right, in order to begin coloring, you have planned out your value scale. You've chosen your colors that you're gonna be using. Now we have to find sections on our portrait and we have to label those. So because of the video, I'm not sure my pencil's gonna show up really well. So I've got some values here. So I know it's gonna look a little strange, but we're gonna come in and we're gonna create a space where that value is. You also have values where you have your um, facial features. So this is another one. And then I have a section here. And then different space here. And you're gonna go through and create those spaces and those sections. And then we're gonna add numbers to them that are gonna to correspond to your value scale that you've chosen over here. And it doesn't have to be a whole lot. And then when you get finished choosing your sections, so like that one would be my darkest one, so that would be my eight. And I'm gonna put that, just because I can't see it, I'm gonna put it out to the side a little bit. And then I've got another eight right here. And then this would be my seven in that section. And same thing here. So then you've got to decide, well, what's my number one? And you can, you know that on my image, I didn't use white. I chose to start with a color. So then maybe my lightest of values is going to be, that's going to be my number one. My next lightest value is going to be my two. Then my next value, so this would be a one here because you can see that it's separated and split up. This would be a two. And then this would be a one because I've got a space here that's going to be, I could make that an eight, I can make that a seven, I can make that a four. Um, you're gonna have different values than I'm gonna have because of the way your portrait is set up. And then that's gonna determine what colors are gonna go where. So you're gonna go and you're gonna choose those on here again. So if that was two, this would be three. And then I don't, I don't see any values with this particular image, so um, I'm gonna leave this all a one through here. I do have a little lighter value there, so I'm gonna make that a two. I'm gonna make that one a three. And you're dividing up um, all of your image, your portrait. Now remember, we're not doing backgrounds. Um, I think that would probably be my five and a six. And then this would be a four and a five. And well, I think that would be a six. This would be my five because that's going to go together because then my six is right there. And then I have my eight. And then this is going to be a one, a one, a one, 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 and one. And then this is all going to be, if I choose this, it can all be. Um, well, if that's an eight, I would probably make this all a seven. That would be my eight. I have an eight here, seven. And then I may make some changes with that as I go. But that's how you're gonna divide it up. This is a student example here. Another student example there. And then there's a separate video that has a different image for me that I didn't bring and that you can uh, follow along as well with that.